Hey, what's up everybody? Corey here. Today we're going to talk about Trigger Finger. Hey, what's up everybody? Corey here. Uh, it's been a long time since we did a video, so we're trying to get back into the into the swing of things. Hopefully this will this will kick it off good. Uh, it's kind of about a weird problem that I went through for a lot of years. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with Trigger Finger, but uh, I wasn't either before it became a problem for me. I was out, it's been about six years now, I was out walking the dog one night it was a little icy, and she was a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, so not a big dog, but a small, a big enough dog that'd make you bust your tail on the ice. So we're out, and she sees a rabbit or something, I don't know what, but she bolts. And when she bolts, I slip and fall down like this on the concrete with, turn my volume down, with both hands. And uh, when I did, I broke my right elbow, uh, and certainly bruised my pride. <laughs> It was, uh, uh, it, was, it was ugly to look at, but it was fine. And, uh, but as a result of this, I started seeing an orthopedic surgeon, I had a cast on for a while, and several of my fingers, when I would close my hand, I, I couldn't open them. Uh, so that's a condition called trigger finger, which I'll explain a little more here in a minute. Essentially, we started having injections. They inject steroids into your tendon sheets inside your hand. And then, over time, that's meant to make uh, the swelling in there go down and get it back to normal. And it did for every finger except this one. So I was pretty much walking around in a permanent shocker. Uh, you can still use it. However, it's different. Like in the mornings, it would be really bad. When I played guitar, it would be really bad, which was the real kicker and why we're talking about it today. Uh, I'd wake up in the morning, if, and if my hand, God forbid, went into a fist while I was asleep, when I'd open up, it would be like this. I'd have to take this finger with this hand and snap it open, and there was a loud, audible pop that would make my wife gag, and uh, it was a neat party trick, but it pretty much sucked for everything else. I just learned to deal with it. Um, I, I learned to play differently, like instead of playing bar chords like this, I started using my pinky, which I kind of like in some ways because it gave you extra fingers in the middle. However, it makes things like seventh chords difficult, things along those lines. So uh, either way, it wasn't it wasn't comfortable. I, I could play for a little bit, but it was always there's always a chance it's going to just snap open in the middle of a song, or I'm going to bend it too far close, and then suddenly I don't have use of it. Uh, I've known one other player who dealt with this, and I'm comfortable confident that there are tons of you out there. So I thought, you know, I've never really seen a video or anything on it, so I thought it was worth taking the time to talk. Uh, you know, there were things we could do to tough it out. Uh, obviously, if the injections will fix it, go with the injections. But there's a limited number of times they will do those because it apparently damages your tendon sheath over time, or your tendon, I, I don't know, I'm not a doctor. Uh, so eventually we came to the point where it was time for surgery. Problem was, surgery is expensive. You know, it was going to cost thousands of dollars. We didn't have that. At the time, I was self-employed. So, you know, we were without insurance for a year or so. Uh, finally, last year, mid-last year, started a new job, came with some insurance. Uh, so, first thing on the agenda in January was getting my freaking hand fixed. Uh, surgery is pretty simple. It takes about 10, you're in an operating room, about 10 minutes. Uh, and they usually do it at the clinic. But they go in here, and they slice you. You can just barely see the scar where they sliced across here. Essentially, your tendon runs up your hand and through your finger, and that's what lets you bend them. What happens in cases of injury is that sometimes a piece of that tendon will get a knot on it, and the tendon runs through a sheet. If, however, that knot gets there, it prevents your finger from moving freely because it'll step 
it'll catch in spots and things, and that's what happens. So what they do is they go in and they slice open part of your tendon sheath and just leave it so it'll work. Uh, surgery was pretty easy. It took me several years to get around to doing it, like I said, uh, just for a variety of reasons. Uh, but overall, uh, it's the best move I've made in ages. Uh, I've heard people say that they got back to feeling good and playing normal in a matter of two days. Uh, for me, it was, I felt a lot better in a week. In about three weeks, I was pretty good again. Uh, but it was a couple months before I felt like, like it had never happened. I, and I think part of that was because in my case, I waited so long. I waited five years. So there's probably some, some atrophy in here in places, things that keep it from working the way it should. Uh, but it it's changed my life. There are so many things I can do now. I mean, it was hard to, to do anything that required manipulating with your left hand. Playing piano is not going to happen like this because it just... The, the finger was more like this. It, it, it was like you couldn't bend it. You could, you could slap things with it, but you weren't able to manipulate it quite like, you know, like you need to for guitar. Uh, but now... I never claimed to be good. I'm just goofing around just for the sake of showing you. I totally had things. I, I just couldn't play. Uh, I, I could I could muster through most things. There would be parts of songs I would skip because I didn't have the confidence in that finger. Um, I, I, and truthfully, I was a little scared of the surgery because I thought if it doesn't work, then I know I'm like this forever. And um, supposedly it's a it's a very common surgery. They do it all the time. Uh, but anytime they're messing with, you know, I've made my living as a writer for the last 20 years, so, I mean, even losing a finger affects that, let alone my ability to play guitar, which is where I hold my sanity. Um, but overall, it was the best move I've made in a lot of years. Um, I'm, I want to say I'm 10 months out now from surgery. I have, I, I, I still don't think I have the dexterity I had before the inju injury. But I'm definitely leaps and bounds above where I was when it happened. If any of you ever deal with this, you know, there are, there are things you can do. I would, I would try heat sometimes. Sometimes heat would relax it a little bit. Uh, if I was out in the cold, sometimes it would stiffen up more. So I'd get one of those little heat packs and hang on to it like... Forgive the cat. He knows not what he does. Uh, so, you know, you can get through it. It just sucks. Hopefully, uh, if you decide you want to go through with the surgery or if you've already tried the injections and they didn't work for you like they didn't for me, uh, hopefully you'll find a good hand doctor in your area, someone you trust and feel, feel good about letting tear into what, is, what may be your livelihood depending on who you are. Sorry, apologize. <laughs> That's church. Church is... Uh, at least part Maine Coon, we're told. He's, he's like 23 pounds right now. He's, he's about a year old. Uh, he's sweet as can be, but he has no boundaries, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, if, uh, if anyone has any questions about this or deals with trigger finger problems themselves, if you want to reach out, feel free to shoot me an email. I'd love to talk to you about it and kind of walk you through my experience a little more as well as the, the healing experience, which I'm still going through, frankly. Um, I'd, I'd be glad to talk to you. I know there are this, there are other things as well, other, other injuries that happen to people. If any of you have any issues like this or trigger finger specifically and you want to reach out to me and talk about this, I, I would be more than honored to share my experience, uh, share a few things I learned along the way, uh, as well as, depending on what part of the country you're in, help point you to a good, a good doctor you can trust with this because it, it is a serious I mean, any time they're opening your hand and cutting into a tendon sheath, there, there are risks that could affect your ability to play forever. For the most part, it'll be just fine, though. So I hope, uh, hope those of you who've dealt with this find this video at least a little bit helpful. Either way, uh, 
I appreciate you watching. Uh, I hope you guys will keep watching as we have videos moving forward. We're going to have videos like this about specific topics. We'll have some gear reviews. I've got a, a vintage Marshall Governor I want to do a video with here in a day or two. Um, I'm also going to do some mild repair videos, you know, stuff of your own you can do around the house. Uh, I think later this week we're going to replace a nut in a 70s reissue strap that I have, so that'll be a good, good shot at it. Give it a shot, see how it goes. Um, but otherwise, that's it. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Look forward to seeing you again next time.